mines there in London in 1877. Now, this is the same year that the District of Columbia was crafted as it is as a separate body, a separate nation of its own, mm. a city-state. 1877 also is the year that Mars's moons arrived. They were not spotted by any astronomers, not spotted by anyone up until this 1877, and then everyone started seeing them. So now, it's Mars, like someone put them into place. That was, that's what you're saying. Exactly. Mm. And, of course, six uh, probes going up to Phobos all were lost. The last one by the Russians, known as Phobos II, happened to manage to take a photograph of a 14-mile-long craft. Yes. Uh, saucer-shaped craft, which then they publicly announced, or at least the, the scientist involved, the lady, I can't think of her name right now, but it's on the site, publicly announced this and, and leaked out the information to everyone so that we could know this. Uh, Phobos is going to become a major issue here really soon. We're going to see the Russia-China alliance launching for Phobos probably this year. It was supposed to be last year, but it won't happen. We've got Buzz Aldrin announcing that there's a giant monolith up on, on Phobos. Yeah, put, put there by right. God. It was put there yeah. by God. <laughs> you know? What the fuck is that? Strange. Very, very strange. It goes right to Stanley Kubrick, right? In yep. uh, 10, 2010, the year we make contact. Indeed. I believe that Phobos is going to be a major focus point in this whole disclosure movement. That we're gonna, they're going to attempt to announce that humans have traveled to other planets. And I think they'll use Phobos as their example, that they'll find ancient architecture on Phobos. So back back yeah. up the Freeman. Are, are you saying that they're going to discover it and and say that we did it in the past, or or what do you mean? Yes. Okay. Yes, they're going to rewrite history at this point. Mm. Now, as all of this is coming together, just to throw the Pope back in, we have my whole prediction of July fourth that the Vatican will make moves on the Temple Mount on the fourth of July, and that this is going to spark this final holy war. So it's going to be all of this at once. We're going to have strange incoming bolides. We're going to have giant V-shaped craft flying over. We're going to have a holy war sparking out of the Temple Mount. And let's not forget that, that in Mecca, the Kaaba stone is also extraterrestrial. <laughs> We're talking about this, you know, uh, rock from God. Yep. And when you start to watch some of the, uh, the old cartoons, uh, such as Conan and, and some of these others, uh, there's this this video series on YouTube called Tell Evil Zion, which is basically television broken up into three words. And you'll see some of these old cartoons, and they talk about this space metal needed to defeat this uh, incoming reptilian threat. Yeah. Uh, and so I see all of this coming to a head right this summer. Uh, okay. As- Freema, I gotta just throw this into the mix here, and then I want to take take a short break and, and continue talking more with you because there's so much. But but how about this one then? Because I I recently here put up on the on the on our website uh, information regarding the uh, the iridium uh, among among other things. We're talking oil and gold and so forth. But the resources in Haiti, one of the reasons for the occupation slash invasion, if you will, of uh, U.S. and uh, U.N. Uh, forces in Haiti after the earthquake. We don't need to take into the picture that this was manufactured or not. I mean, that, that, that's still a big possibility, obviously. But again, what is interesting is the reaction, what happened afterwards, the way that certain uh, rescue planes was denied to land. Uh, uh, we have this French organization, uh, um, I think it's called uh, Medical Staff Without Borders or something like that. Um, mm-hmm. And they were denied to, to bring in help which is, of course, trying to create the chaos, if you will, to, to have people demanding the fact that a military can move in now because it's dangerous on the street, they've declared martial law there, blah, 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 all this stuff. But again, this goes back to the idea that there's apparently a lot of gold in Haiti and there's also a lot of iridium there, which is used in space travel and a lot of materials, this article said that we had up on the site, these are a lot of materials that are used and are key in terms of uh, space travel and, and, uh, and the space um, uh, satellites, um, you know, things like this. So could it be that they're moving in on this region now because they need more resources, they need more uh, minerals uh, in order to, to actually build some of the things that they're planning? What do you think, Freeman? No, they offended God with their pact with Satan. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Um, yeah, okay, so we have reports showing, uh, yeah, we're calling this the hum- humanitarian invasion. And we have reports of... Uh, 
Well, 2008, October of 2008, the geologist saying, look, Haiti, the Port-au-Prince is going to be hit by a 7.2 earthquake. This was 2008. Uh, you can find that in my Space War News, and now they're reporting that report in other news. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we have the, the idea that Haiti was due. You know, There was no escaping a 7.0, 7.2 earthquake because the plates hadn't moved in something like 800 years. Uh, maybe it wasn't that long, but something like, uh, you know. Anyway, geologists had predicted it. Uh, but when we start to look at the anomalous, then we realize that, okay, for the first time in 300 years, the UK, the, the British uh, Navy fleet, leaves the area. Now, this was just weeks before the earthquake. Yeah, I missed On, this totally. That's very interesting. Yeah, first time in 300 years that they hadn't covered that area. And then, of course, then they had to spend all the time coming back. Uh, we, yeah. So then we have Southcom in, uh, in Florida setting up a, an Internet online database system in case a tsunami hits Haiti. Hmm. Now, this was the day before. So the day before the Haiti earthquake, Southcom setting up a massive uh, computer network in order to facilitate communications in Haiti, in case there was a tsunami at some point in the future, and then it, it happens, you know, the major earthquake happens tomorrow, yeah. and they just happen to be ready for that. So Southcom just happened to be doing, you know, test runs right before. And then, and then of course, the humanitarian invasion, where the, the military comes in, takes over the two airports, takes over the uh, presidential palace. Uh, Hillary saying, well, look, you know, we don't want to take over your nation. Just give it to us. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. while George Bush is on the radio, on the air waves saying, uh, we know they all need blankets and stuff, but just send us your cash. Uh, <laughs> Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, now here's the critical ingredient that we all need to take into effect is that when we're looking at global structuring, when you realize that world wars are nothing more than social engineering, that there are leaders on all nations coming together to say, okay, let's pretend this war, which of course is real to all of us because we live and die in it, uh, and so we can cause more social change. The Social change they need at this moment is to take down this concept of a free nation, the concept of a democracy in America, which has never existed. This concept is a fluke. It's a, it's a belief system that's been implanted into the moguls while the, the wizard elite live in an international world. Uh, so right now the whole engineering script is to bring down America. So all of the attacks are going to be going on us. They're going to be saying America's trying to take all the gold, iridium, and everything else out of these nations. Just like the Iraqi war was all about America taking oil. When we know there are deeper pictures there because they're invading museums and taking these ancient artifacts and that there's a, a deeper story that goes to our ancient past, goes to high civilizations in the ancient past. And if you don't believe that, it really doesn't matter because they do. Uh, when you start digging into Freemasonry, digging into the Thule Society, digging into Nazism, and every one of these type of, of situations, you come back to ancient civilizations and possible extraterrestrial involvement. Now, I'm not one to say that you know 10,000 years ago a- aliens came here and did this. I believe that civilization of humanity did exist for millennia. Uh, some are even showing like uh, uh, Michael Cremo with uh, 200,000 years of humans yes. as we are, as homo sapiens as we are now. Yes. So well, the whole point is, is that we got to be careful because they're engineering a social structure to change uh, to a global system. They need to point the finger at America to say, look what happens when you give people liberty. <laughs> you need this UN. You need us to be our, your council. You know, maybe they'll even come up with a new council beyond the UN because everybody hates them. Uh, and we'll start seeing more councils gathering in the Pyramid of Peace in Kazakhstan, you know. Yeah. Uh, this will be, but the whole the whole thing is to point the finger at America so that they can then engineer and say that. But yes, I totally agree that Haiti is a perfect spot for all of these uh, type of metals. And I have been saying this all along. Why are we collecting gold? You know, people like to say, "Oh, it's this rare metal that we all just agree upon as our monetary structure." Mm-hmm. BS. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. We have been collecting gold since Yahweh told us to, uh, <laughs> and probably beyond. And it is for a purpose, and it's not to to store inside a mountain vault so that we can 
have some form of currency. Yeah. That's a, a lie, and we've all been misled. So I guess what we can say in closing for the first segment of Freeman is uh, the show, if you will, is about to begin. Freeman, stay with us. We'll take a short break and continue talking more about this uh, in our, our member section if you up for the